Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you how to make your own siren generator at home at very low cost. You can use it in any type of DIY project with Arduino or Raspberry Pi to generate various sounds in your system. These are the list of components required to make UM3561 siren generator. We need UM3561 DIP IC which is 8 pin DIP IC. Uh, we need we also need the uh, breadboard which can be 800 point breadboard or uh, 400 point breadboard depending upon your area whether which one is available we also need battery or power supply ranging from 3.3 volts to 5 volt 5 volt is the maximum voltage that can be applied to um3561 so you can use it uh, as long as the your system is okay resistances of 10k and 300k are required uh, NPN transistor either BC547 or 548 or any similar configuration can be configuration type can be used speakers of 3 watt ranging from 4 ohms to 8 ohms can be used connecting wires uh, normally male to male male to female female to female bunches are available uh, 2.54 mm and 20 centimeters are very handy what are the various features of UM3561 four different types of sound can be generated now, there is a power on reset facility available which means when we disconnect battery or power supply the system will automatically restart typically 3 volt battery is used to operate the device you can also use 5 volt battery maximum voltage I, as i have told that can be that, dev, that the device can withstand is 5 volts a magnetic speaker normally 4 to 8 ohms can be driven with um3561 use 3 watt speaker that one is easily available in the market and also very it will generate very good sound as well this is the pin configuration of um3561 DIPIC. pin number one is scl2 uh, i'll explain it in within uh, five to ten seconds vss is the ground pin uh, the negative of your battery or power supply pin number three is the output pin through which a sound will be generated or a transistor will be driven and c is the no connection we do not need to connect this pin to any other part or any vcc or ground or any other circuit pin number five is the vdd which is a positive uh, connection of your battery or power supply pin number six is the scl2 and pin number seven and eight are the oscillator pins we need to connect uh, a resistance in between seven and eight um, which is no, uh, normally 300 kilo ohms uh, scl1 and scl2 are the two different pins which can be used to generate different sounds uh, we need to uh, frequently vary uh, scl1 and scl2 connections nc means no connection when we connect SCL1 and SCL2 to uh, no devices in the circuit then police siren sound can be generated when we connect SCL1 to VDD this SCL1 pin number 6 to VDD and SCL2 pin number 1 to no connection which means we do not need to connect SCL2 and when we connect SCL1 to VDD fire engine sound can be generated when we connect SCL1 to VSS VSS means negative voltage of uh, your negative uh, connection of your power supply or battery negative wire then and uh, no connection to pin number one then ambulance siren sound can be generated so when you permanently open SCL2 and vary with no connection VDT VSS these three different types of sound can be generated and uh, to generate machine gun siren you need to connect SCL2 to VDD this pin number 1 to pin number 5 and uh, X means no connection this means whether you connect uh, SCL1 pin number 6 to VDD or VSS a machine gun siren will be generated so uh, if you need to generate police siren do not put any connection to pin number 1 and pin number 6 if you need fire and engine siren do not connect anything to SEL2 and uh, connect pin number 6 to pin number 5 
then fire and engine sound will be generated and uh, if you connect VSS uh, to pin number uh, SEL1 which means connect pin number 2 to pin number 6 and no connection to uh, pin number 1 ambulance siren will be generated and if you connect SEL2 to VDD SEL2 to pin number 1 to pin number 5 and uh, uh, SEL1 pin number 6 to either pin number 2 or pin number 5 then machine gun siren will be generated this is the circuit diagram which I have explained uh, now to create four different types of sound this as shown we have connected VDD to uh, this battery and uh, also connected VDD to one wire of this our speaker and a uh, second wire to the uh, transistor we have also connected base to uh, resistance R2 which is uh, normally 10 kilo ohms you can also use 4.7 K resistance and uh, pin R1 to oscillator pins which is 300 kilo ohms you can also uh, you also need to vary SEL1 and SEL2 to generate different sounds VSS is connected to ground terminal of uh, your battery uh, this Q is Q means we have NPN transistor which can be VC547, VC548 these are easily available in the market and uh, costing very at very low price in India you can purchase it this whole setup within 100 rupees and can generate any uh, sound and uh, in foreign in any other country you can purchase from ebay.com or uh, uh, various Chinese sites this UM3561 varies from uh, one dollar maximum and this whole setup can be made within two to three dollars in foreign I have made this circuit in practical and have generated four sounds by varying connections manually you can also use switches to switch between one type of sound to another here is the video which I have made please check it out Thank you for watching this video if you have any questions regarding this project put a comment and we will be happy to help you have a nice day bye bye